All right, we just got done doing a final inspection on a new house in, uh, in Memphis, Indiana, and decided to walk through another house that was under construction right next to it, just to see what we might find. And uh, this right here is referred to as a knee wall. It's basically a wall that faces the attic space. And these types of walls, for one, need to have studs so that you can actually insulate properly, um, 16 inches on center. But the other thing that you need to have is a top plate to the wall might be hard to see here, but if you look up here, that right there is the knee wall, and there should be a top plate in between those two studs. There is not anywhere across there, nor is there what's called an air barrier. And the air barrier basically stops attic air from circulating through the insulation so that it um, doesn't you know, reduce the effectiveness of the insulation. So definitely need to get the, the builder back over here to do that. Same thing on this side, you can see another attic knee wall, no top plate, anywhere to be found. Um, but we do know that this builder does use a foam board uh, insulation product as the air barrier. They just need to make sure that they put a top plate in there. So um, very common in new construction to have these kind of vaulted ceilings with knee walls. And uh, it's really important to insulate the knee walls properly because you know, in the summertime, the temperature in that attic is 120 to 140 degrees, and you want the temperature inside your house to be 70 degrees, 75 degrees at best. So there's more heat gain that comes through these knee walls than comes through your exterior walls. So really, they should be insulated even better uh, than your exterior walls. So, food for thought, guys.